Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. We're going to talk about decentralized finance, DeFi for short. Why though? So hi everyone, welcome to the channel. If you are new, subscribe, hit the bell button, like and comment. Now, let's talk about DeFi, decentralized finance and is it a possible bubble? And we're going to talk about bubbles and all kinds of stuff, but I want to kind of address what it is and show a few little lines of the, what projects are here. So first off, we're going, we're on DeFi rate. And essentially, this just gives you a list of all the different DeFi tokens out there. It's, it's a pretty decent website. You can just get a bearing of it. Now, I'm going to go over my thoughts on what DeFi realistically is. And there's a lot of things about this that I want to make very, very obvious and clear. It's pretty much a buzzword in the space right now. So that's one air of caution around it. We've seen in 2017-18 where it was blockchain that was the buzzword. You don't really hear much about blockchain essentially these days. It's all about decentralized finance. So we're going to go over it and describe it in a nice little setting. And most important thing I want you to remember is, you know, just be careful in what you're investing in, in terms of research. Do a lot of research. Don't buy into the hype of DeFi with, let's just put it out there, scammy projects that use the word DeFi to pump them. Top tip. We've been there before. ICO craze. Remember that one? So let's listen up. Let's talk about it. Let's go. What is DeFi? So it is essentially a merger of traditional banking services with decentralized sections, such as the world of blockchain. So it is under the you know open finance due to its inclusive format. The DeFi community seeks to create alternatives to every single financial element we have in real life in terms of the centralized world in a decentralized format. These include the likes of savings, accounts, loans, asset trading, and most importantly, insurance and credit. Big, big things, okay? But the importance of DeFi is to remove that middleman, that third party, I call them knobheads, but there we go. It is one of those things where we can actively do what we want to do in this space at all times without worrying about a blooming thing. Having that ability on a decentralized platform. That is the good bit about it. But there's also applications, decentralized applications known as dApps. These obviously allow things to connect together. The blockchains, the networks, the distributed ledgers, all that technology into one big format, which is obviously quite good. As an example of this, We've got the likes of Compound. You know, the, the key component essentially of DeFi is to allow one big entity to work as one and having, you know, it open source, having the transparency, having that global audience is absolutely key. But obviously, there needs to be no interference. So, you know, permission, you know, the permission side of it is absolutely perfect. You don't need a gatekeeper. You don't need to develop something that goes through a bank. You know, interoperability, it works with all your wallets. It works with all aspects of exchanges, swaps, you know, your ledgers, everything. You don't have to worry too much about it and flexibility. But the main thing that is like hugely important is a fact of lending. The way the world is going, lending is obviously vitally important. You've then got the likes of decentralized exchanges, the ability to send and transfer your money without any interference. So that in a nutshell is the world of DeFi. You cannot go wrong with investing in a DeFi project, but there is a wrong time to invest in a DeFi project. And we're going to talk about that right now. So I want to explain to you guys here what a bubble is. And then we're going to go into the chart and just show you the element of the chart. The reason why I'm saying this is because we've risen a lot in valuation of coins and also hype, speculation, trend appearing of DeFi projects. Now, let's talk about it. There's five steps of a bubble. We've got displacements. This is the stage that takes place when investors start to notice a new thing, a 
better technology, a bit of a new product, or historic low prices. You then got the boom, the boom cycle. Prices then start to rise and gain momentum as more and more investors flood into markets. This sets up the stage of a increased price rise very quickly. You know them sharp little spikes of 20% randomly. Ooh and then this creates more people buying in, FOMO. Then you've got stage three, which is the euphoria. The simple lines of shit, FOMO, off we go. It starts to hit high sky, blue clear day, breakout in certain cases of coins. And this is where all caution is thrown out the window and that is where things get a bit emotional. Then you've got the take in profit stage. Figuring out when the bubble essentially is going to burst. This is one of the hardest parts. You cannot buy a top, but you can always, always, always take profits if positioned correctly. Now, this is where the big warning signs are where people are selling off. And we start to see a little bit of a figuring out of that section right now. I personally believe in the DeFi cycle right now in this micro time frame of this micro bubble that we appear to be in, profit taking is probably going to happen which is probably not a good thing to be in if you are looking to invest. Wait. And then you've got panic. Number five, the last part of it is sexually the panic stage where assets and prices are beginning to change direction. Simple as that. So we're going to jump now onto the charts. And the first coin we are looking at is Lend. Why? Look at it. I want you to explain to me in fine grain detail what you think of that now let me know in the comments you can more than happily do so but yeah, let's talk about it people buy these at these price levels because they feel and believe it's going to go higher now let me just do this this is a performance of the week this is a performance of the month this is a performance of the last three months you get the drift right monumental rise absolute credit to the industry of having that price rise don't get me wrong right but I want to make things very very clear if you are a new investor and you're excited about DeFi just chill on your hands sit on them do whatever you want with these right don't buy into any project that has done a monumental rise like that you've missed the boat simple as that so we have got basically the starting phase this is step one where people are aware You've then got obviously the boom, where it obviously increases. Then you got the, well, you probably class this as a boom. Then you got the euphoria. And now, when you actually zoom in on this and you start looking at where we are, and this is like, have we topped? Are we going to correct? Now, this is where we need to find out. We're either in the stage of euphoria still, or we're going to go into the profit taking where. Money will be taken off the table. Things will start to regress in time and price. They'll start turning slowly. And that is where the problem is, where time comes into it. Patience is absolutely key in the world of investing. When you zoom out and you look at the bigger picture, it's scary. So a lot of people look at this and go, oh, cool. It's it's what it's dipped about. It's dipped 5% today, boys and girls. Ooh, should we buy it? Top tip, zoom out. You see a lot of of action if you zoom out. This is using the four hour time frame, not the daily, by the way. So moving on into the next asset I want to look at is Bancor. Why? Because this has got a similar sort of performance. A lot of coins have done this in the DeFi sector. This would indicate a possible bubble. This is why I'm talking about it. The reason being I want to talk about it is because a lot of people will potentially get wrecked. There's no such thing as losing out on something you've never invested in. Simple as that. The only way you lose out is if you buy at a good price and you do not put enough in, or ultimately the opposite is where you buy at the top and it dies, essentially. Again, you're looking at the profits. This doesn't have as much information because it's relatively new on Binance. But in terms of this, over the last six months, it's nearly done a thousand percent. Absolutely crazy gains, absolutely brilliant. But, 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 if this is still the euphoria stage and we're coming into the take profit stage, well, it's going to get quite interesting. So just be absolutely careful and clear minded of what you want to do in the industry. As I say, look at it. Just absolute bang. 
I'm not dis disregarding it, but what I will say is just be careful if this is any sort of bubble. So that is today's video done. Hope you enjoy. A little bit different, obviously. A little bit of cutscene in there. Cool. But I want you to be very, very clear that every market has a bubble, period. No matter what it is, whether it's a short cycle, a small cycle, whatever. If things go up in a very, very short amount of time, stupid levels like the likes of this, just be careful because you've got to wait for that correction. You've got to wait for that face to, to change hand again and go back to investors are now looking at buying again. That's the way you need to do it. So, see you later.